Hello, so I know this video comes a little late given that the uh, oh, sh Hello, so I know this video comes a little late given that the Z490 platform has been out a few months now, but I couldn't help but make some quick observations about ASRock, and more specifically the Z490M-ITX slash AC. So when I first tried overclocking a 10600K on this board, I was having an issue where the CPU clock speeds wouldn't reach any higher than about 4.7 GHz regardless of the core ratio and voltage I'd entered into the BIOS. So I guess initially one might assume this to be a thermal throttling issue, but after more investigation and installing uh, Intel's extreme tuning utility, it turns out the board is actually current throttling as can be seen here. Now, normally this wouldn't be an issue because on most Z-series motherboards you could simply head into the BIOS and raise the current limit for the board and the problem would be fixed. Well, that's what I thought, and so I went to the motherboard's user manual and actually found the setting, because it did exist. One small problem though, it didn't actually exist in the BIOS. Bruh. So, off I went to ASRock support to find out why the setting was missing, and this is what they came back to me with. Essentially here, Azrock says they removed the setting because a higher current would cause too much risk for the CPU and board. Okay then. Um, well, this is really just PR's way of saying the board's components are too cheap to provide the overclocking functionality the board is advertised to do. Of course, shortly after I sent this email, they removed the setting from the board's user manual. So, why am I giving Azrock such a hard time? Well, I think it's one thing for ASRock to come along and be a bit sly by technically supporting overclocking, given that Z490 is the highest end chipset and the only chipset to actually support overclocking, yet the board can't actually do it in any meaningful way. But for ASRock to come along with advertising like unmatched overclocking capabilities is just nothing less than a load of fucking bollocks. So ultimately, I'd probably steer well clear of this board if you plan on doing any overclocking, um, but also just ASRock in general because they're lying to your face, so why would you give them any of your money? Um, don't just take my word for it though, Azrock has actually gone ahead and blacklisted several YouTubers such as Gamers Nexus and Hardware Unbox for their Z490 reviews, go check them out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, that's all for today, thank you and goodbye.